if you're someone with a shallow mindset and someone who doesn't believe that other people do what they actually say they do then please leave this video right now and don't come back to this channel because I don't want you around here and we don't want you around here in this video I'm gonna describe my full morning routine as a university student and if you're someone who just thinks to themselves nah he doesn't do this bro he hasn't been doing this you know he's lying to you he's just doing it for views then please I'm giving you a chance now to leave okay so now that you're still here I'm assuming that you're gonna actually have an open mind and you're gonna take on board the stuff that I say in this video and actually try and implement it into your life So the first thing I do every morning is wake up at 6 a.m. Did a bit of did a bit of doubt come into your head there? Because if it did, then please, please leave this video right now. Okay, now I'm assuming you're actually serious. You actually have an open mind, and you actually believe what I'm saying here. Because, like, why would I lie about these things? First of all, I'm trying to help you lot do exactly what I've done so I start my day with 6 6 a.m. wake up at 6 a.m. I will then immediately you know go to the bathroom to do all my stuff that I need to do brush my teeth bro I found it so strange how some people the first thing they do is not brush their teeth I'm going on a bit of a, a side tangent here but I remember someone before told me that they don't brush their teeth until like they have like they shower and they have breakfast and all this stuff and then they brush their teeth. I don't know if it's just me that thinks that's strange, but I wake up and I immediately brush my teeth. Could just be me, but let me let me know in the comments if, if uh, you agree with me or if you disagree with me, but in my opinion you gotta wake up and you gotta brush your teeth straight away. It's the first thing you do. Anyway, moving on from the side tangent. So you brush your teeth, you do all this sort of stuff, all this good stuff. And then I immediately get into a meditation. So I spoke more about meditation and stuff on my channel. And I'll be making a full meditation guide as well, which will be available soon. It might already be available by the time this video is up. So check the description if you think uh, this may help you out or you're like a beginner to meditation. If you're experienced, then don't bother. But I do some meditation, so I'll do about 25 minutes of meditation. That seems to be like a good number for me that I'm at. You know, meditation is kind of like a compound sort of thing. You need to always progressively overload. And I'm at the stage where about 25 minutes is, is good for me. So I do a 25 minute meditation. And then I ha already have my full day planned out to the minute, so... I'll go make a black coffee and I'll chug like a litre of water I've got. I've got this big fuck off uh, water bottle here, you know, metal bottle for the testosterone and all that. But I'll chug one of them straight away and then I'll make a black coffee as well. I'll sit at my desk and I'll get to some deep work. So I'll do about three hours of deep work in this morning routine. So basically what deep work is, if you don't know what it is, if, you, if you've heard about this before, then you'll know what I mean when I say deep work. But if you don't know what deep work is, then it's basically just a fasted, un, undistracted, un, you know, unfiltered sort of block to do a tough, long, good bit of work. You know, you see a lot of university students, they're like, they do this whole like 45 minutes on work, 15 minutes off, and then they're playing on their phone stuff in, in the 15 minutes. And then they're 45 minutes and then another 15 minutes on their phone, scrolling through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. You know, you see this a lot with university students, but I don't see a lot of people doing deep work, especially how I do deep work. So deep work for me consists of two and a half to three hours of just focused, dedicated work the phone gets turned on silent it's out the room no distractions at all whatsoever no notifications no music 
no literally no distractions at all just deep work you know ex you set your task before you do the deep work period and you know exactly what you need to get done in that period if you finish early then you finish early if you don't finish then you don't finish but you know exactly what you need to do in that block of work and then you go and do it undistracted So a lot of people will ask me and complain and say, how am I supposed to get up at 6am? How do I get up at 6am? You know, I can't get up at 6am because X. I can't get up at 6am because Y. You know, and I see a lot of people that are sadly diseased these days. You know, it's sad to see that the disease with excuse-itis. If you've ever read the book, The Magic of Thinking Big, then you know what I mean. But these people will just make up excuses as to why they can't do something instead of actually listening to people like us on self-improvement and looking for ways that they can do things. So a lot of people say, oh, I'm in university, you know, there's party life. Yeah, it's too loud to go to bed at 10 p.m. and wake up at 6 a.m. I can't do it, I can't do it. Bro, I had the exact same mindset. I had the exact same thinking of, you know, it's too loud. I can't get to bed at at 10, 10 p.m. I can't get my eight hours in and wake up at 6 a.m. It's just not possible. I realized if you actually try, if you actually try and do it and you plan out your day and you work hard within the day, then you'll be tired and exhausted enough to go to bed at 10 p.m. and get a full eight hours and wake up at 6 a.m. And if you truly believe you can't go to bed at 10 p.m., then You've got you've got this shallow mindset and I don't know why you're still on the video. Bro, I told you get rid of that shallow mindset. You need to open your mindset up and actually be, you know, septic to taking in these ideas and taking in tips from other people who have already done it. A lot of people will come up with, with excuses as to why, but you're not like them, bro. You and I we're not we're not part of that breed. We're in the category of looking to why we can rather than why we can't. So this morning routine that I described in university it genuinely contributed to masses amount of, of work and productivity and efficiency. And I see like we'll have if you're in university then you know exactly what I mean. If you're not, then the earliest like lecture you can have is nine AM. They don't start before nine AM. So you can have like a one hour or a two hour lecture at nine AM, so nine to ten or nine to eleven. And I'll go into these lectures at 9am and the boys around me and the other people around me, you could see that like, they've just crawled out of bed. They're groggy, they're tired, they don't want to be there. Which is strange because, you know, it's an optional choice. It's not like, uh, like secondary school in the UK, you kind of have to go. Until you're like 16, you kind of have to go to school and then you can do what the fuck you want. But... University is a choice. And then I see people in lectures like complaining because they don't want to be there. Which is kind of just ironic and contradicting in my opinion. But I'm not going to rant about all that sort of stuff in this video. Maybe a separate video. But I see a lot of a lot of my mates and a lot of the boys around me kind of be groggy and upset. And you can tell that they've literally just woken up, bro. It's 9am and they've just crawled out of bed. And when you've been up for three hours, you know, you've done your meditation, you've had it, you've had a coffee, you're ready to smash the rest of the day, you've done your deep work. You're just levels above. Levels and levels above. And I don't know, I'm not saying this 6am is like optimal. Because it's not for everyone. And I know Alex Amorzi, if you know who he is, he said it quite well away. Right? He says he knows a lot of like billionaires and not some of them wake up at 5 a.m. Some of them wake up at 4 a.m. Some of them stay in bed till 11 uh, a.m. You know, but they'll work in the night instead. They'll, they'd rather work till 1, 2, 3 a.m. And then wake up at, you know, 11 a.m. Rather than bed at, go to sleep at 10 p.m. And wake up at 6 a.m. or whatever. And he says... It's not like kind of you have to wake up at 6am, but I find that, especially for university, 
if you're waking up at 6am then you're just ahead of the curve you're ahead of the game you're getting a head start on everyone else and the longer you stay up at night the more tempted you'll be to indulge in these like parties and activities and stuff i find so my phone my phone like goes off at 9 9 p.m so because i like having like an hour before i sleep without the phone and all and all this sort of stuff so the phone goes off at 9 p.m and if people have like text me or tried dragging me out to parties or getting me to the pub you know how university is then i won't even see the text bro i'll just be like i was, I was sleeping so you don't have any temptations you don't have to use the self-discipline because you literally have no temptations at all so try this out if you're genuinely serious about getting successful results if you find that your work isn't going as well as you think it could you're not optimally revising you know around this time there's exams the time i'm recording this video is exams so if you're not optimally revising they are not often optimally studying or getting the work and you feel like you're slacking in your productivity then try this out get up at 6 a.m go to bed at 10 p.m you know you could say oh it's easier said than done easier said than done just just use some will bro bro come on you're not a kid man you know i say a lot of times that you got to have self-discipline you got to train this stuff which is absolutely completely true but sometimes it's a matter of just doing doing the thing just manning up a little bit you know that that phrase man up is kind of like put down and you know seen as evil these days man up uh, that's evil you can't say that bro but <laughs> just man up like honestly you're not a kid anymore you can go to bed whenever you want to go to bed you can wake up whenever you want to wake up just set an alarm for 6 a.m and wake up bro now i know i know i'm speaking to um like the successful lot here if you're still on this video so i know you will actually go and try this out uh so contact me on instagram uh that's probably the most uh likely place i'm likely to reply to you to be honest so dm me on instagram after you've done this for like a week if you are in university then try this out get up at 6 a.m do some deep work and then go to your 9 a.m lectures and let me know the difference if there is any difference at all and if you're not uh, like in university or studying then try this out and because everyone's got work they needed to do everyone's got like a project they need to do if you're watching this then you may have a business or some sort of work that you need to do maybe college or school maybe you're just gonna stay in school do that work first in the ams and just get a head start on everybody else in the morning and yeah try it out let me know what you think and uh yeah just dm me on instagram with with your thoughts i love uh, having conversations with you and building this community together so i look forward to uh i look forward to your thoughts have a good day bro